one place in the world where everybody knows your name And they're always glad you came You wanna go where people know People are all the same You wanna go where everybody knows your name And I'm Griffin, and this is LVTV. Have you ever wondered how to maintain a healthy relationship? All the time. Didn't you make a video about that? I did. Let's check it out. Warning signs for an unhealthy relationship, um, for the most part, are going to be in regards to your communication. How are you guys communicating to each other? It could be that inappropriate language is being used. Uh, constant text messaging, feeling like you have to respond, even if it's in the middle of class. If you're feeling that pressure that you have to do something, that is an unhealthy sign. Uh, if the communication is one way or the communication is only for certain things, uh, then that is going to be another unhealthy sign. Um, obviously hitting, name calling, anything in regards to that or feeling like you have to engage in sex, for example, could be um, should be a huge warning sign for you that that is an abusive behavior. Uh, in my opinion, go out and have fun. Don't feel like you have to um, sit at home with a person because that oftentimes leads to inappropriate decisions. Uh, communicating is huge. Making sure that you guys have positive communication and good communication. You're talking about your day, you're talking about your feelings, and it's not one-sided. It's not one person always going on and on about one thing. Uh, but you guys are going out and you're having fun. You're doing things together and you can talk. You're picking up the phone. You're, you're talking. You're not just texting. All right, I'm here with Coach Sachin. Coach Sachin, what's the key to be in a healthy relationship? Uh, I think it's the golden rule, just to treat others the way that you would like to be treated. You heard it from Coach Sachin. There you go. I'm here with Caden and Lizzie, and they've been dating for almost a year now. So what's the key to a healthy relationship? Good communication. Just always stand there with, there with your girl. I'm here with JoJo. Yeah. JoJo, what's some tips about healthy relationships? Loyalty. Yeah, always be loyal. All right, I'm here with Glowy. They've been dating for five months. How do you guys keep a healthy relationship? Milkshakes. Freddy's. They like food, obviously. So you guys may be wondering why we haven't been putting up broadcasts lately. We've been focused on our students. Yeah, I've met a couple good ones and a couple bad ones, but let's check out the good ones. Hey, Coach Hi, I'm Brandon Phillips. I'm a senior at LHS. Recently, I was just offered a cheerleading scholarship to cheer at Dodge City Community College for free, basically. So it's, it's a huge opportunity, and uh, I really, I really think about taking it. I joined the Navy, um, and I would rather be doing aviation machinist mate or master of arms. It's made me want to work harder in cheerleading and become better, just so I can you know, be the best I can be when I go to Dodge City. when I was 12 and it was because my sister had one and back then I just wanted to beat her at everything um, so I started the blog and then it was just kind of a fun pastime but it didn't become serious until that June when an author first asked me to review their book and then I realized I should probably take it as something more serious than just me messing around. 
The most memorable moment from my time having the blog would have to be when I received an email this past September that I had been selected without applying or anything to review um, a book that ended up being a bestseller. It was the third book in the series, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And that has been my first major publisher that has approached me, and so that's kind of when I knew I had made it. My books are scored based off of four criteria, plot, characters, writing, and originality. And all those categories have scores out of 10, and then I average those scores to get a final score out of 10. The Giver, The Hunger Games, The Help, The Book Beat, you know, a lot of really popular books, but also very good books. All the Pretty Horses by Cormac McCarthy, one of the worst things I have ever had the misfortune of reading. During the summer, um, I had been preparing for this for about a year, and so I attempted to make some revenue off the blog by placing ads on there. And it was a very intense process. It was about three days, um, and then three days after I finally got accepted and approved, um, Google had to disband my account for something that was not my fault, and um, I lost $45. They took it, and so I um, definitely have a problem with Google now. I currently have about 5,100 followers. I'd like to hit 10,000 followers. That's the next big milestone, and I believe I'll reach that by next year. Uh, and I would really like to hear from more major publishers and maybe get into this program where you can receive um, advanced reader copies or arcs of those books monthly. No, I think I should have taken auto tech because my car is broken. Didn't you make I, another video about it? Yeah, I made a segment about it. I went down there to see what was going on and I had an interview with Mr. Bergen. Just let's let's look at it. How has Autotech benefited you in high school? It's benefited me by uh, giving me a job to, to work at after the school hours, and uh, I've gotten ASC certifications already, so it's very beneficial for uh, a job force afterwards, after high school. So, okay, so Mr. Bergen, how many years have you been doing Autotech? Here in the high school? Um, this is my fifth year teaching. Alright, so. Uh, how would it benefit like graduates for like after they graduate high school? Well, even if you're not going to be an automotive technician, <laughs> sorry. Even if you're not going to be an automotive te technician, I teach you how to change oil, change the spark plug, do tune-up, do maintenance that you can do on your own vehicle and not pay somebody else. Plus, we learn how to buy and sell cars, so we don't have to worry about maybe buying a lemon, how to conduct yourself in a shop. Um, plus, there's all kinds of scholarships out here. If you can, uh, if you can learn enough, enough about this. Perhaps even if you're going for an engineer or whatever degree you're going for, you can do this on the side and I'll pay for your school. Thank you. You know, Griff, I've been wondering lately how to save that money when it comes to buying clothing. Well, if you want some nice LV gear, you can head down to Pete's place. Hey, well, let's be hype about it. And that's been it from us. I'm Griffin. And I'm Big Ice Water.